Hi guys, Togo here with a new video and this video will be about the state of PvP in The War Within and you already know it's not going to be a very happy video. Um, I may say that right now I'm a bit disappointed in how the devs have handled PvP this season which is kind of the continuation with what they had done with Dragonflight. I think that Still, there is too little incentives for healers to keep on queuing. They made BGB, which is Battleground Place, which is so QRBG, uh, with more, how can I say, filters, which makes the queues very long. Do you remember, there was a point where BGB was literally an insta-pop for DPS. You could queue up and it would have written four minutes, but you know that you would have a game in the two minutes that will follow as a DPS. That was at the beginning of The War Within. And then they decided to change something, which I didn't think it would be that impactful, but it is actually that impactful. They made that you cannot really have the uh, same pair of classes anymore. Or at least they try to avoid it as much as they can. So for example, if you are like MM, you will not be paired with an MM in your group. That makes that if your class is very popular for some reason, if it's meta, obviously, you're going to have longer queues, way longer queues than the specs that have uh, a lot less representation. But as we all know, in PvP, most likely you're going to play a spec that is going to be very, very representative in BGB. If you're not playing like a like meta spec, you're playing a subpar spec, which is already a very low representation. So for example, Outlaw Rogue is low represented because it is not a popular spec and people prefer to play sub or assassination in BGB. So they would have a faster queue. And even then, they decided to do that, but for some reason, I... In the beginning of the, the season, uh, Battlegrounds Blitz, we had, uh, for example, two MMs versus two Frost Mages. And my solution was, if both teams have doubles, switch them. Don't need to make matchmaking that complicated. It's an if statement, literally, in software development. It is not that hard. It would be spaghetti coding, but that was the first step you could do until you find a better solution. But now they, fought, they, they they put matchmaking into the uh, list of filters. We have the classes, we have the specs. And what do you know? Healers play meta specs. That has always been something like this in PvP. P healers are very uh, meta-centric. If your healer sucks, you're not going to play it. Because obviously your healer sucks. And guess what? You can transition to another healer pretty easily compared to a DPS. Because DPSs are like, ah, my spec sucks but doesn't care. Because you can still win games if you're very good. As a healer, if you're very good as Holy Priest. And Holy Priest is like the least played spec. And the least interesting meta-wise spec. You're not going to find a lot of Holy Priest. Because it doesn't matter how you're going to main it or not. Sorry, the sound of like the dummies are very, very annoying. I'm going to cut it. Thank you. Um, what did I say? Holy Priest. Like if it's not meta, you will only see the Giga mains and even they are complaining on, at the state of PvP. So they, they are like, not like in the, in the mood of I can still win if I showcase my skill because they know that maybe someone that is at a lower skill level than you can just sweep a win because they have a more meta spec. While in a DPS setting, you have a lot more factors that do play and you can still climb even if your spec is kind of dead. You can still climb as a fire image before the buffs. I don't know how it is since the buff because I don't really play too much retail these days. If you are a arcane ma mage uh, fanatic and you're very good at arcane mage, you are certainly going to climb. If you're like Raikou, you're going to pick up arcane mage and you're going to climb. It doesn't matter how bad it is. But... If you're Zenlin and you're playing Holy Priest and you are a known Holy Priest and you have difficulties climbing as a main Holy Priest, then nothing can be saved for them. So in BGB, people are playing Mist Reavers, Preservation Evokers, Disc Priests, to a certain extent, I don't know, to the fourth one would be maybe Restodroid or Holy Paladin. 
to be fair, there's only three like healer specs that are worthwhile in BGB, which would be Mistweaver, Preservation Evoker, and Disc Priest, and all the rest is like subpar. That's why you have longer queues because before you could like have double Mistweavers in your in your team and double Mistweavers versus you, and those queues were popping very fast because they would say, okay, two healers from the same MMR slapping into one one like team and the other team the same. Now they are making that the matchmaking is very difficult between those healers as well but also if you're a mistweaver you, the, the chances are you're going, not going to play with another mistweaver in your team so that makes a lot of like bizarre conundrum where you're going to obviously have a longer queue as a dps but also as a healer so that's like something that you should keep in mind so that's a problem. BGB has longer queues now. The other problem is Solo Shuffle has even longer queues. So there are no solo rated environments where you have fast queues. Only if you're playing healer as a Solo Shuffle um, like fanatic, if you want to have fast queues, you have to play healer. So if I'm going to queue as a healer right now, most likely I'm going to have an instant pop. I don't know, I haven't tested. I have an instant pop. I did my fair share of uh, rounds. I played, I think, 240 rounds on Holy Paladin. I think I did uh, maybe a bit more on Mistweaver. I did a few on Resto Druid. I played like every single healer for like science. I have my fair share of healing and I don't like healing. I just don't really like it. I prefer healing a classic. That's how bad it feels for me to heal in retail because a lot of the problems that are towards healers are not insta fixed because mythic plus is a thing and that's a problem again pve and pvp the balancing is like contradictory to each other you have a lot of specs that are working in pve but they still don't work in pvp because who cares they cannot do anything towards that they are not going to rework specifically for pvp but they do sure as hell trying to rework specifically for pve for example frozy k how come it doesn't get competitive no matter how many slaps of 10% buffs you're going to give on frost strike and obliterate is that it is just not a great pvp spec it is a uber great pve spec a lot of the damage is baked into aoe a lot of the damage is like with death and decay in mind and a lot of the damage is coming with pillar of frost as well so the issue is again they can't really balance the game and in soul shuffle as a healer it is very frustrating very frustrating but also as a dps like if you get 20 minute queues 30 minute queues and that game goes not how you are supposed to get those games it's very frustrating because you're not you're not able to um re uh regain the mmr you have lost for that game it was a problem in dragonflight already made multiple videos about that it is still the same problem in the world within and i tried to bite on my lips literally like not trying to like biting on my teeth trying to not complain trying to like stick playing the game because i do love the game now at one point how much time do i spend in queues compared to how much time i have when i'm playing the game it is really terrible the ratio is to what 60 percent to the queues 40 percent actually playing and that is when i'm very optimistic and yes you could say you could go herbing you could go mining you could go do some world pvp the issue is world pvp really sucks in the world within always has been i don't know how they can put invulnerability potions in the game or toys or whatever that ruins world pvp in my eyes like if you're doing world pvp you're going to classic the gameplay really is slow and kind of sucky i'm not gonna lie it is very slow. If you're playing retail and then you're playing classic, retail is superior to PvP in gameplay wise. But for some reason, it feels way better to world PvP in classic than in retail because it actually feels like you have not a lot of those silly toys in the game that are literally, if you if you don't have it, it's kind of hard to get it first and foremost. But also, it's 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 like a cheat death for eight seconds, ten seconds, fifteen seconds, twenty seconds in classic wow you also have like engineering you have some potions but they are feeling not as terrible as what we have in retail it is nowhere near comparable to retail 
they kind of ruined PvP, like World PvP in my eyes because of that. I think also the grouping mentality and FFA mentality kind of sucks for me because I'm very much of a faction versus faction guy. I prefer to have I am Alliance, I am versus a Horde, let's fight. But they have FFA, which means that you can make groups literally with the best of the best meta aspects and you are facing one versus five versus them every single time until you join your group. But again, it is not as simple as you may think. In the same way phasing and the same with how World PvP feels detached from the game again. I think again the issue what I have with PvP in retail is everything feels detached. It's either a lobby game where you're fa you're waiting for soul shuffles, you're waiting for soul QRBGs, or you're doing World PvP, which is also like detached from the open world game in my eyes. It feels like very contrived, very forced. While I can remember a lot of times, on what, just in Classic right now, I'm playing Classic Fresh, where I have like natural occurrences where I'm going to quest, I see a horde, I'm attacking, I don't care if he has a mob on him or if he doesn't have a mob on him because I'm a priest, like I'm like invulnerable pretty much. Uh, but at one point they get like three on me, but I have seen a few alliances I'm going to invite them and boom we have a three versus three and then it's taunted and obviously it's more of a horde centric zone that, that, that Those fights are more like even though the gameplay really is elementary and you don't really have a lot of outplay potential It feels way better in open world for some reason, right? And then it feels like retail you have Soul Shuffle, you have Soul Queue RPGs, which is fine with Soul Queue. I, I, I always wanted a Soul Queue. But it kind of sucks that you have to wait that lo long to actually get into a game. And I haven't seen... Like, my, my vision of Soul Queue wasn't like this. Uh, it, it wasn't like you had to wait that much. Like, if I'm playing League of Legends and I would wait 20 minutes per game to get into a game, I would not even play League of Legends, right? League of Legends is a 40-minute game. Even if you're sitting 20 minutes, you would only be realistically 33% of the time in your queue. But even then, I would not even be playing League of Legends. But imagine World of Warcraft where you, ha you are 66% of your time in a queue if you're a DPS. If you're a healer, you have other problems. You have MMR problems, you have the climbing problem, you have the problem where uh, literally you don't have too much to say in those lobbies. To first and foremost, like it's either a healer diff or it's a DPS diff and you kind of hope it's a healer diff towards your side. It could be also against you, but if it's like a pure draw, like you have nothing you can actually do to actually influence the game if the DPS is just like that bad. And the same for me if I'm a DPS and for some reason I am the, the weak link, I feel bad for the healers as well, it's a 3-3, but if I'm like the, the stronger link, uh, we kind of hope like it's a 6-0, if it's a 4-2, it still stays a 3-3 for the healers. So there is like a lot of issues to that, like I think if I have to cite everything because from start to finish is that queues are way too big, they change BGB for some reason towards like MMR and matchmaking being like more forced and not natural and n like formulas that are like very contrived for the players while the obvious, uh, obvious solution is you see the enemy team, our, uh, enemy, uh, our ally team, we have a double, they have a double, let's switch. Like that's something that they should have done, like just a if statement. If my classes are double, um, my classes or spec are double and their classes spec are also double and it's different so and it is different change it is not hard it is literally two or three lines of dev development i did like software development i know how it's written i don't care if it's in a game it's way harder it just is mmr mmr is literally just code it is code it, isn't, it has nothing to do with intricacies, with spells, or how they work, or graphics. It is purely code and how they interact with each other. So it's very weird how they actually handle that. Let's talk also about 2v2, 3v3 being like literally dead. No one wants you to interact with it because they have solo shuffle, because they have solo QRBGs. So you have longer queues and nobody wants to interact with 2v2 and 3v3 because there is no incentives. 3v3, the rewards are way too hard to get. Uh, I, I will, I want glad to still be glad, but it's, it's too contrived. Like I'm not even playing 3v3 
I could climb in 3v3, but I, I, I don't want to search people. I don't want to heal in 3v3 either. So I, I don't want to like socialize to get 3v3 rating up to then face at 1900 versus like multi glads or like multi rank ones where they are also alting because there's nothing to do at higher rated because literally their queues are long or they're facing the same team over and over and it's not fun for no one. 2v2, they don't have a mount. Again, like 2v2 and Soul Shuffle, they should have mounts already. They should have been able to be grinding. They should all, all already be a battle pass for PvP to incentivize healers and, PV and DPSers. They should be a battle pass for healers and they should be a battle pass for DPSers. So everyone is enticed to play. There is so many things, so many solutions available to make participation in PvP way better, but they still have a lot of difficulties with that. There are a few like simple things. I think Soul Shuffle should be scrapped by now. They should be like solo queue arenas and it's the same queue as in 3v3 and they should have an algorithm where if I have a full team, I will be more likely 90% of the time, 95% of the time facing a full team as well. It's not complicated. It could be also a duo queue will have to face another duo queue and a solo queue will have to face a solo queue as well. If the three guys are solo queuing, then you should be also facing three other guys that are solo queuing as well. It's really not complicated. And it should be like a best of three even. Like it's like our team versus your team. We are both social, like solo queues. It's literally a BO3. The the one that get, wins two, 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 round, like two rounds of them. It's not going to shuffle. But like you, you win two rounds, you get the points. If you're losing those two rounds, you're losing. So there is no draw possibility. So the MMR is more natural. It will be always up or always down. Like in League of Legends, there is no draw. So for example, in solo shuffle, you could easily draw every single match just because you don't have luck. It could be like there is like a lot of healing differences or there is a lot of DPS differences that makes it that you're drawing. And that itself is a huge waste of time. There is no benefit from you being actually in a queue 20 minutes, getting, getting, getting into a game that will be 15 minutes long and drawing. Like you literally lost 35 minutes of your life. If you have faster queues and you would either lose or win, it would feel way better. It doesn't matter if you have like a huge losing streak, it would still feel better. That's why most people kind of felt good with PGB because it was either a win or a loss. The thing is that they changed the, the matchmaking, like I said, the queues are way too long and now it's not satisfying. And in PGB, they have also a rating problem where they give high... MMR, but you still gain only 20 points for winning a game whenever you're lower uh, CR. So again, they are playing things. They're playing with the players. They don't are they are not transparent with how it works, and unfortunately, it kind of shows that it's very hard to like climbing a BGB if you have high uh, MMR is purely a time investment. Literally, like you, if you have 50% win rate, you're going to climb. The issue is a lot of play players are not satisfied with feeling like a like a time investment it's like either a queue or you're going to do 50 50s until you are like higher rated that's basically how it goes you will see the higher ratings the higher rated players having a lot of bgb games and lower rated players with like literally a good win rate are just not playing the game so they are not climbing so i kind of said every single problem i have with pvp right now it feels like very much a lobby game I already said that. Uh, I think the rewards are not there. I think the queue times are way too big. It's not satisfying anymore to play for me. I love the gameplay though. I don't think that balancing changes would change a thing. It's a systemic game problem. Uh, gearing is not satisfying anymore for me because again, there is no grind. So you cannot even like camouflage the PvP because of it. So the thing is with gearing, so I'm going to end this video with this. The, the problem with gearing is that if you're giving gear very easily, because it, well, it is very easy to gear, let's not lie. Like if you played the whole season, you are going to be fully geared and maybe may even twice uh, as much. Um, 
the gearing process is not hard like literally you could be fully geared epically like not maybe top top but like you would be epic at least after four weeks if you did like your world pvp uh, quests um the activities if you did conquest if you did like your crafting gear you would be fully geared so that's not a problem right the issue is once the gearing process is done you would see a lot more of the mistakes that are in the game because you're not focused on gearing anymore you're not like with there for the dopamine rush of having better gear now the dopamine rush comes from winning or activity like uh, pvp activities and unfortunately winning is something that is not guaranteed you could lose and q times are pretty much guaranteed right now except if you're like a healer and even then in bgb if you're a healer you're going to have longer queues so it's it's really again maybe there maybe there should be a time where we decide okay the gearing stays but maybe can we maybe think that the game could be also more dps centric like i understand that some people don't like it but i think uh being so dependent of healers makes for the games being like a q simulator or lfg simulator i think you cannot make healing more fun objectively it's subjectively i like for dps i don't like healing but i like this iteration way more than uh, i would say in wrath or in cataclysm or in miss of pandaria because you are actively able to do damage in the world thing that's how I see. You can actually deal damage and you can do satisfying damage. The issue is that um, healing is something that you're doing if you like it. And if you are con like contrived into it, you're not going to stick into it. So that's why you can't really make it more fun because it is very subjective. Some people don't like the healing of the world within and some people really like the healing of the world within. So who is right objectively? No one. No one is right on that. So you cannot really put enough effort into healing to bring people in. What you need to do is either reward it, like to a certain extent where DPSers are enticed to do so, or you make this the, the game less healer-centric, where heal, healers are not necessary, but they are a good thing to have. If you don't have healers, it's, not, it's still fine. And if you have a healers, then the game plays differently and that's a whole other discussion i think um, mystic plus and pvp has the same mistakes and the same problems actually but i think um i would like to see world of warcraft uh, pvp at least a bit more centric towards 2v2 and uh, maybe even 2v2 solo shuffles double dps or healer dps uh, and maybe go away from the soul shuffle aspect i say soul shuffle but truly i mean soul queue you want to have solo queue but not with the shuffling but more like i have my team versus your team a bo3 best of three the one that wins two rounds wins the mmr the one that lost to two rounds are going to get lost on the mmr and that should be a thing and it would be a lot easier for the healers to climb but uh, climb as well and the dpsers as well uh, and it would be a bit more skill dependent although again you could be screwed on your comps but that's another issue but i think once the queue times are fixed then we can think about like more uh, comp um, uh, problems that we could have of, or comp um, solutions we could bring into the uh, aspect so let me know what you think in the comment section below why am i not making too many videos on this channel right now it is because i have a second channel and i'm making classic content i actually enjoy classic a lot um and even the pvp feels very nice even if the gameplay is not perfect because that's not perfect i'm not going to ask classic to become retail but for some reason i'm enjoying it more and it has nothing to do with the ladder ranking or whatever and yeah, I prefer to play the game instead of like sitting into queues. That's how I felt. So thank you. Have a great day. Bye.